We all know what the tape measure is. It comes numbered in inches and in feet. But one of the problems that most people face is they don't understand what all of these little hash marks are in between the numbers. And that is what this video is about. To help me explain, I have created this drawing. Starting over on the left side, we have zero. And finishing up over here on the right, we have one inch. From the inch, we divide that in half. And we have one half inch. So this hash mark right in the center is one half inch. Then we divide the half inch into two, and that creates one quarter. So we do it on both sides. So we have a total of four quarters, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Four quarters equals one inch. And then we divide the quarter by two. So this hash line is one eighth. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight eighths equals one inch. Now these little hash marks down here are sixteenth of an inch. There are sixteen sixteenths of an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteenths. And sixteen sixteenths equals an inch. Now if we were to divide one sixteenth by two, that would give us thirty seconds. And so we would have a total of thirty-two thirty seconds which would give us one inch. You can keep dividing this down into smaller and smaller fractions, but in carpentry there is no point to it. Now there is another type of fraction that we need to understand, and let us get into that right now. Now the fractions that I'm talking about is turning the inch into hundredths, or making it 1.00. We will get into why this is important a little bit later on. The first thing we do is divide 1.00 in 2, and that gives us 0 0.50, representing a half an inch. If we take 0 0.50 and divide that in 2, that gives us 0.25, which equals a quarter of an inch. If we take the quarter inch, or 2.5, and divide that by 2, that gives us 0.125, representing one eighth of an inch. If we take the eighth of an inch and divide that by 2, that gives us 0 0.0625, a sixteenth of an inch. To get the rest of these numbers filled in, we take 0.25, add it to 0.50, and that gives us 0.75. If we take 0.25 and times it by 3, we get 0.75. If we take 1 eighth, 0.125, and times it by 3, 0.375. If we times 0.125 by 5, 5 eighths, we get 0.625. If we times 0.125 by 7, then that gives us 0.875. Are you with me so far? Then if we take a sixteenth and we times 0 0.0625 times 3 for 3 sixteenths, that gives us 0.1875. Again, timesing it by 5, 0.3125 by 7, point 4.375 by 9.5625 by 11, 0.6875 by 13, 0.8125, and by 15, 0.9375, and if we add 9.9375 to 0.0625, we end up with 1.00. Now we need to figure out what these are. So we take 0 0.0625 and divide that by 2. And that gives us 0 0.03125. And these are all the related numbers as they come across. So 3 30 seconds, 0 0.09375. 5 30 seconds, 
0.15625, and so on, all the way up here to 31, 30 seconds, which would be 0.96875. The key issue that you need to remember in the field is the fuel take an inch and give it the related number of 1.00. Divide that by 2, that will bring you to 0.50. If you divide that by 2, that will give you 0.25. And if you take 0.25 and you divide that by 2, that gives you 0.125. If you divide that by 2, that gives you 0.0625. You divide that by 2, that will give you 0.03125. I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day.